Are you thinking about South Knoxville, but you're wanting to know where all can you go? And what all is there to do? Well, I made this video for you. Check it out. Okay, so let's talk South Knox new construction. One of your current options right now, so I'm making this, it's October 2022, is DR Horton. So we are in a neighborhood called Highland Ridge. And when it comes to DR Horton, they're one of the more like value bang for your buck builders in the area. So right now you can get a brand new house about 2,500 square feet, maybe no yeah 2500 square feet around 320 um and obviously that's going to vary based on which floor plan you choose etc so this is definitely your great option for new construction and in terms of where we are in south knoxville we are in like the far back side so if you go look at the map and you find Seymour, where Seymour and South Knox, or where Knoxville and Seymour interact, we are really right at the line. We're almost at the furthest out in Knox County that you could possibly get. So definitely a really nice area. It is kind of 20 minutes to downtown from where we are right now, maybe 25, depending on traffic. But like I said, it is great new construction. And this is a good option for you if you're thinking like, we want low maintenance, we want to build a warranty, we don't want to worry about much, then Deer Horton is probably, or actually any new construction is a great option for you. But I will say, there's not a ton of new construction coming into South Knoxville. So that's why I brought you to this neighborhood. So you could just kind of get an idea. And like I said, these houses, depending on their floor plan, are going to be um, low to mid 300s. I think I had a client, she was in the high twos. And that was a one story house. And I don't know if you can necessarily find that deal anymore, but you're definitely looking under 350 for a brand new house. So not too bad. Pretty good bang for your buck here in South Knoxville. So one thing I do just want to point out about DR Horton New Construction is that you're not going to be able to make any customizations. So what you see is what you get. You don't choose carpet, you don't choose the flooring, you don't choose the paint. So just bear that in mind. If that's something that you're wanting to do, then just keep it in mind. So this is DR Horton New Construction Community. As you can see, Lots of stuff still coming in. So this road is kind of typical like back road South Knoxville so you have you know older homes more established yards nothing like necessarily in a neighborhood um, so this is like the very far end of South Knoxville what you're gonna find um, these are a lot of these are a basement rancher which we have that style quite a bit here because we're not flat so a lot of these um, are gonna you know this good options if you want something that's you know got some character and a little more established um and you want to have a bigger yard kind of out in the country and like i said this is kind of the we're kind of in the far out part of south knoxville so we're nearly to the knox county blunt county severe county line so this is just kind of typical out further out from town this this looks like severe Vamos, this looks like Maribel Vamos, so you're gonna see quite a bit of like what we're seeing right now. All right, so this is Chapman Highway. We are at the very far end of South Knoxville. If we look that way, literally, we are now in Blount County. So this is the far end of South Knox. So as you can see, this is Chapman Highway. This is one of our main roads in to town and that goes through uh south knoxville and um like right now today they're doing construction but you can see like you know okay so we are towards the end of south knoxville this is what i call like the very end of civilization currently as we know it in south knoxville so once we get kind of past this intersection 
There's not really much else. There's a Kroger down the way, but that's actually in Seymour. So this to me is kind of the last stop. Now we did see that new construction in place. Highland Ridge is a little bit past this, so it's a bit further out. It's about five minutes from here. If we go further towards like Sevier County, Blount County. So what we're looking at right here, this road is Chapman Highway. So this is the main road. And then you see this overpass like bridge. So that is um, John Sevier. So I think about South Knoxville as a triangle. So if we were to get on this road, John Sevier, and we were to go about maybe seven to 10 minutes down, we would hit Alcoa Highway. And that would take us towards Maryville, but also we can loop back around to downtown Knoxville. So what's really cool about this area right here is there is some new development coming in. You can see there's a hospital coming in. We've got a Chick-fil-A, there's a Starbucks. The Starbucks actually came in probably like, I don't know, three years ago. And so that was really awesome. You see there is food, but it's not like, you know, boutique type restaurants or there actually is one little clothing boutique right over there by that Lowe's. But for the most part, it's chains and that's pretty much what you're gonna find in South Knoxville. It's not like a booming shopping industry or anything like that. But like I said, uh, I mean, this is Chapman Highway. What you're seeing, this traffic is pretty typical. Now in the afternoon, it gets a little bit more crazy, but like I said, Chapman Highway, this is our main road to downtown if we go that way. And then we can go straight to Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, Sevierville, Dollywood if we go that way. So that's a little bit about this area. And I will say, you can notice that the traffic is loud, so you don't want to live right off Chapman Highway. Okay, so now we are in Colonial Village, so making our way uh, kind of through South Knox. So Colonial Village and like Lake Forest, you can see right here, there's a sign for like Lake Forest Church. So Colonial Village has a great mix of like older homes, but then tons of character. And also Colonial Village, you're gonna see these signs that are throughout Knoxville that talk about the um, Dogwood Trail. So in the springtime, uh, March and April, you can drive around parts of Knoxville and you can catch beautiful dogwood trees. And so you can tell that because on the street here, See these like pink arrows, pink signs? So that means that they are on the Dogwood Trail. So a lot of times that's characteristic of like super cute homes, updated homes, stuff that's like, just, I don't know. It's got that character and that quaintness. So I'm gonna take you and so you can kind of see Lake Forest, Colonial Village. And then also note that price wise, when you're looking at Lake Forest and Colonial Village, it's interesting because you might have something like 1200 square feet in the 250s and you could also have 1800 square feet in the 600 so it really just depends on has the house been renovated where exactly it is and then what the house offers so lake forest like i said is part of i think of it as part of colonial village super cute super quaint so let's go take a look at some of the houses so as we're walking here you can see on the concrete there are pink markers so again that means that we are on the dogwood trail and if it were springtime right now we would see beautiful dogwood trees so there is a dogwood arts festival every spring and it's something it's really cool to see tons of art stuff really nice like just super cool atmosphere just art 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 and flowers for sure okay so just to kind of show you colonial village super cute houses like stone cottage like this house is so cute right and you can tell like it's been well maintained and then you also see houses like this basement rancher that's had an add-on super nice it's just like a really cute quaint neighborhood and no two houses are the same which i absolutely absolutely love Okay, so this is like old school South Knox where we are. So we're towards the far end of Chapman. We're close to downtown, 
and I know what I'm going to show you is not like wow beautiful but I just want to give you the full picture of kind of what South Knoxville is so where I am now there's a plant or plant fitness behind me there's a big lots and on the other side of the road which that's Chapman Highway again that's our main kind of thoroughfare is which there's trees in the way obviously but that's the Kroger that's the primary Kroger um, there's like a buddy's barbecue um, so it's not like South Knox I just want to get the point across that it's not like a shopping Mecca that's not why you'd come here you come here because you're convenient to downtown you can get to downtown super quick and you're also convenient to things like Bearden and also you're not gonna pay West Knox prices but you're still getting super cool atmosphere and you're getting a little bit probably more land some more trees and just again proximity to downtown so this is kind of just like South Knoxville as we know it kind of historically Okay, so welcome to Lindbergh Forest. This is one of Knoxville's most historic, oldest neighborhoods. It's super cool. You actually used to have to ride the ferry to get over here. And Lindbergh Forest has like the cutest old homes. And this one specifically, so this one is 3,000 square feet. It is priced at 650,000. It's gorgeous. Think mid-century modern, totally cool. This house actually sits on about half an acre, if not a little bit more. So yeah, you do have kind of these historic homes that have a ton of history and a lot of them have been totally redone. This to me, if you're familiar with Knoxville, is like the South Knox alternative to Sequoia Hills, Cherokee Boulevard, because you have homes with so much character. Like look at this one, it's so gorgeous. The stone is beautiful and these homes, like I said, they're gonna run you, depending on price, depending on size, excuse me, you could be looking at five to 700,000, um, but you've got some that are like old Spanish stone. Some of the streets here are cobblestone and brick, and so that's really awesome. This is a really cool, just historic neighborhood in the Knoxville area. And of course, the day I'm filming, they have a chainsaw going crazy. So please just ignore that in the background. But what I love about Lindbergh Forest is we are literally three, four minutes it's from downtown Knoxville and you're super close to the river and I just love old houses so if you've ever seen me talk about old houses before I'm literally obsessed with them I love the character and I love what they offer and also the, you've, you've got so much history here and you're kind of in this cool little pocket of houses that just bring so much character and design and you can just see like people have really just look at that stone one in the background I mean I'm telling you this is one of my favorite neighborhoods and like I said if you're wanting something like Sequoia Hills but you don't want to pay Sequoia Hills prices Lindbergh Forest could be a great option for you because you've got so much character and just I don't know it's just the coolest neighborhood okay so really quick I just want to tell you that I'm getting anxious making this South Knox vlog video because there is so much stuff to show you that I just can't show it all so there's stuff that's gonna get left out which totally is awesome these are the highlights these are the stuff that I thought you these are the stuff these are the things that I absolutely had to show you, but at the downfall of not including everything. So just keep that in mind. South Knox is awesome. Now we are at Sutry's Landing. We are in like the heart of South Knox on the river. So if you look across the river, you can see um, the AJ building, the Andrew Johnson building. You can see, um, it used to be the first Tennessee building. Now I think it's like first horizon or whatever. But, um, so this is Sutry's Landing. There is a trail all the way down. It's not, this isn't a huge park, but this is one of South Knoxville's newest parks. And it obviously is cool because it is across from downtown. There is like a public, uh, like boat launch. So if you wanted to paddle board or whatever, you could do that there. And then I don't know if you can see this, over these bushes is one of the the big like marina downtown and so i can also show you that this behind me these are new apartments coming in so in the south knox area especially closest to downtown we see a lot of new construction we see a lot of homes being converted over into short-term rentals people are making a lot of bank because they're investing on this side of South Knox and you can actually walk to downtown. You can walk to Nayland Stadium from South Knoxville. So this is Sutcher's Landing, super cool park. Let's go over to Severe Avenue. So as we walk further down South Knoxville behind me, we have Redbud Kitchen and High Wire Brewery. Right here is South Knox Elementary. So that is like the elementary school down in South Knoxville. Now, obviously that is not the only elementary school in South Knoxville, but this is one on Severe Avenue. So super cool places, South Knox, Severe Avenue, the place to be.
Okay, so we are now on Alcoa Highway. So Alcoa Highway, if you go that way, that takes you directly to the airport, to Alcoa, to Maribel. We are literally like 30 minutes to University of Tennessee Hospital. We are four minutes to Cumberland Avenue. We're super close. So this is the like Alcoa Highway side of South Knoxville. Now, interestingly, back behind those trees, that is a neighborhood called Lakemore Hills. And Lakemore Hills is like the South Knoxville side of, or South Knoxville version, if you will, of Cherokee Boulevard, which Cherokee Boulevard is one of Knoxville's most exclusive, most expensive, most established, most well-known um, streets and places. So anyhow, the vibe there is like expensive waterfront. So Lakemore Hills has that on this side of the river, kind of same, just beautiful homes. You were gonna pay a little bit less on this side. However, the homes are also awesome. Now, I will also say this. If you are looking at this right now and you're like, Haley, this looks like a freaking traffic nightmare and you are correct my friend so what you can see so this where we are right now this used to be like a, this main road right here so what happened is they expanded it because there's so much traffic coming in and actually i'm in front of national fitness center which this one closed down they still exist but this one on the south in south knoxville closed down fun fact i used to be a les mills group fitness instructor so i used to teach body combat at this gym and body pump so if you know what i'm talking about shout out to les mills what what so anyways that being said so i grew up in south i grew up in knoxville okay so i left in when did i leave 2007 roughly i came back in 2012 listen this whole time there's been construction and they are doing better but this is just Alcoa Highway. It has gotten better. However, it is a speed trap. If you want to get pulled over, you just need to come down here and speed, okay? Now, I'm not saying do that. I'm just telling you, don't speed on this road because there's so much construction. Um, and it, it has gotten better. Maloney Road is that bridge down there. So Maloney Road can take you from like Mount Olive into Lakemore Hills. Um, and now you've got a bunch of roundabouts. If you go down uh, about three minutes that way, that hits to John Severe. So that takes you to the back end of South Knoxville. So this is Alcoa Highway. Um, I know it doesn't look like much, but actually where we are in this section of Alcoa Highway, like I said, Lakemore Hills over there, and then there's trees over there. And back over there off Woodson, you have some really cute, really awesome houses. And even off Maloney, just some really nice properties. Now, if we're talking about Lakemore Hills, the range of prices is going to be drastic. Everything from 400,000 to like 2 million, depending on where exactly it is. Let's go take a look. So don't worry, I have this phone anchored in a cup holder. Um, so we're gonna drive and go to see some Lakemore Hills. We're gonna go see some of Alcoa Highway. So like I said, Alcoa Highway, think uh, traffic, but it also provides convenience because of basically you can come straight from downtown into the airport. So you can see that downtown is right over there, UT Hospital, and we're coming up onto a roundabout. We're going to be going into um, Lakemore Hills neighborhood. So coming into Lakemore Hills, so you can see like you've got a split foyer down there. You've got some traditional looking houses. Um, oh, Lakemore Hills sign. So super developed, super wooded, which is nice, but you are literally minutes to downtown. Um, this is a popular place for professors, UT professors, because it's nice and it's also super convenient as compared to like if you were gonna live out west, you're gonna deal with a lot less traffic. So this is Lakemore Hills Presbyterian, really cute church. Definitely again, this whole vibe reminds me of Sequoia Hills. Um, super established, heavily wooded. Just So everything now that you're seeing, this is all water frontage on the river, the Tennessee River, if you will. So you can see that these are really nice houses. It almost also has like a buckhead vibe in Atlanta, like Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. So as uh, you can see, just really developed, um, super nice, super, super, super nice. So 
so I was gonna try to show you a listing that's currently available right now as I make this video on Lake Moore Hills. It's on um, Lake Moore and it's listed for 3.25 million. So just to kind of give you a example of prices in South Knox could be low, they could be high, and I'm just gonna actually add a picture to this because the house sits pretty far back from the road so you can just see from the picture and the video what it is but it is on the water it's um, big house 5700 square feet so 3.25 million um, because it is on the water it's an awesome lot it's like slopes down so really any price point that you want to be in you could be in in South Knox so as mentioned there's some crazy traffic situations in South Knox and in like by Alcoa Highway in general and so this is a roundabout at Maloney and actually it used to be just a straight get on to Alcoa Highway and now we see that it's a bit different uh, it's a bit like more traffic management if you will um, so we're gonna get on to Alcoa Highway so you can see what I'm talking about um, because it's always and forever under construction and um, like they're doing a great job getting traffic moving, but it can be a little bit annoying. So this is John Sevier Highway. It's the backside of um, South Knoxville. It kind of takes you from Alcoa to Chapman Highway. At the end of the street on the Chapman Highway side is where the Starbucks is, the Lowe's, Walmart. Um, you've got some fast food, the Chick-fil-A. Um, and then on the other end, obviously that connects to Alcoa, which is your best routes. Check this out. This is one of South Knoxville's coolest parks. It's called Baker Creek. It's not even just part of South Knoxville. It's like one of Knoxville's coolest parks. So Baker Creek Preserve, my husband actually come here and we mountain bike ride, although I'm a mountain bike rider, like novice. I'm not that great. He's pretty good. But also if you wanna if you wanna do tricks, if you if you got skateboard moves, bike moves, whatever, you can totally do it here. They have ramps, they have all kinds of cool stuff, and also it's a cool place for trail runners. So Baker Creek Preserve is one of my favorite parks in Knoxville and it is part of South Knox. So it's not just like tricks. There are trails that go back into the woods. There is like a trail course that you can ride pretty much as long as you want to. You could actually go that way and it takes you to James White Parkway, like underneath. It takes you anywhere basically. So if you are a runner, bike rider, and obviously skateboarder, like there's, there's some little jumps over there. There's some like places where you could do tricks, like little, um, bridge, not bridges, but they're like elevated plank. I call them plank walks. I'm sure that's not what they're called, but they're awesome. There's also a playground here. And like I said, this park, Baker Creek Preserve, is walkable to Sono Taco, which is one of my favorite Mexican, Mexican restaurants, like in Knoxville, period, point blank. They have this one thing, it's called Nasty Nachos. I mean, come on, you know that has to be good. So anyways, Baker Creek Preserve, it is literally heart of South Knoxville. We are minutes to like South Dole Middle, we're minutes to downtown Sevier Avenue. So super, 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 super cool. Okay, so now we're at Island Home Park, Island Home Avenue, Island Home Boulevard are some of the popular South Knoxville streets. Island Home Boulevard is like, gorgeous, pristine, older homes. It reminds me of Father of the Bride, like the original Father of the Bride, those houses in that neighborhood, that's what it reminds me of. Okay, but let me show you something about South Knoxville. Look what is here. The Tennessee River. Oh, oh, oh. So Island Home Park actually connects to Imes Nature Center, which Imes Nature Center, you can pretty much ask anyone what's a field trip they went on when they were in elementary school here in Knox County, and I guarantee you they're gonna say, we went to Imes Nature Center. And it's spelled like I-Jams, but it's actually Imes, that's how you correctly say it. And they have animals and all kinds of cool stuff. There's a quarry there. You have a bike trail system through Southern Knoxville that does include Imes Nature Center, Baker Creek Preserve, and a bunch of just cool parks and places to get outside. So I'm gonna go over here and show you this time. We're gonna talk about it. Okay, so when you come to um, the urban wilderness parks in the Knoxville area, you're gonna see signs like this. So this is actually showing us like Meads Quarry, Imes Nature Center, which we're back over here, but this is showing us basically, essentially, all the places you can go if you wanna be outside on a bike, on your own feet, whatever. So pretty cool, something that's really nice about South Knox, but then also like, I don't know, it's great about Knoxville. You can be outside here. So we are on Island Home Boulevard, and I also just wanna point that actually Island Home Boulevard is 
on the dogwood trail, which also means in the springtime, you gotta come see it because you're gonna see some awesome, awesome dogwoods. Seriously, one of my favorite neighborhoods. I don't even know if you technically call this a neighborhood per se, but it's one of my favorite streets in all of Knoxville. It's just got charm, it's got a good vibe, and all the houses are really cool, really pretty. Obviously, I'm biased because I love older houses, and that's what this is. They're like older houses reimagined, and I love it. I'm Nature Center, part of the urban wilderness. I think I showed you one of these for um, the Island Home Park. So this actually connects to that park. So this is where we are and Iams is here. So it's along the river, but there's a quarry here. There's all kinds of cool stuff. And as I mentioned, if you were a kid that grew up going to Knox County schools, probably one of the field trips you went on was to Iams Nature Center. And since that time, since at least when I was a kid, um, Iams has kind of exploded in the sense like there's outdoor classrooms. They have outdoor like a, what's the word it's like a primal gym and there's like different like you can throw boulders and you can climb trees and all kinds of cool stuff um there's also a quarry here and then which we call it meads quarry which here's a sign right here swim at your own risk but you can do you can get canoes you can um also you can bike ride through here so there's tons and tons of trails there is a public restroom here for those of you that are wondering but i want to show you the quarry so all back this way those are trails and that's where you can go to the primal um gym like i said you can throw boulders i did it once me and my friend mandy and we had a lot of fun it was it was it was i mean it's not like it was the most strenuous workout like we obviously could have made it more difficult but i did just want to show you um now shay has some stories from back in the day when he grew up because he's from south Knoxville, my husband and he has some crazy stories about the quarry but now it is you know cleaned up and people are coming here um but i want to show you this is so cool because there's also like a walking trail that goes around the quarry which is pretty neat i think um and fun fact i've actually never swam in here um but you totally can obviously you want to swim at your own risk but um just want to show you how cool this is so this is the quarry super cool and like i said there's actually trails like i don't know if you can see but that go all the way around the quarry and that's a fun trail if you want something short you want something close in town that is kind of like you're hiking on mountains but you can get it done quickly like i mean under an hour quickly so pretty cool here's the quarry this is where you could put in canoes paddle boards etc so this is just one small part of Imes, and there's all kinds of trails, like I said, bike riding, there's outdoor classrooms, and then there's at the actual nature center, that's where all the field trips are for Imes. Um, there's events there, there's classes throughout the week for kiddos, for homeschools, there's also, um, like I said, field trips. So it's a nonprofit, it's super cool, and it's part of Knoxville's urban wilderness. So Imes Nature Center, it's one of South Knoxville's gyms and also if you're the i jams it's ims so anyways i'm nature center 